Hey guys, it's me Jace and I'm back with another tutorial on this time. It's for a bracelet called Habanera. This one I named and it was created by my partner in crime. Okay. Lumenia 0304. I have two partners in crime now. Lumenia 0304 and Cianitan. <laughs> oh, and I have a third one. It's Jance's Looms. <laughs> so, here you go. So, this one starts with a single chain and then you will... Um, add just the border bands. Okay, so it's a really cool design. Great. So again, this is called Habanera. <laughs> okay, no, no, there's nothing wrong with the camera. It was my brain. It stopped. Habanera created by Lumenia 0304. Okay, so let's get started. And I will make it quick so that you won't be bored. You start with your cap band. Let's do the single chain. The chain first in the middle. The green and the brown sweets. Okay, so we start this. Get your green, and then you get your next color, which is your brown. Then you close it. Very simple. So we are alternating green and brown, green and brown, green and brown, okay? So you won't get confused. Now you get your green, and loop these two, and reclaim. Like that. Then you close it. Okay? And then you will unloop this over like that. Okay. The next color that you will be adding will be a brown. Because you just added that green and now it's going to be a brown. So you unloop all of those and then you close. Okay. From here you will pick up this one that's hanging down there. Pull it up like that. And now you will add the green as well. Because we just added the brown. And for this segment, so that you're not getting confused on which one you're adding, the one that you always put back from underneath, whatever color that is, it will be the color that you're adding. If you're alternating colors, that is. But if you're using the same color, then it doesn't make sense, right? But if you're alternating, then that's the color. So you remove, you not remove, but you unloop these three. One, two, and three. And then you will reclaim the two. Then you close. After you close, you will unloop the green. Just like that. Next color is brown again. You unloop all three. And then you close. You pick up the green again. And then you get the green. And you loop all three again. And then you reclaim the two browns again. Like that. And then you close. And then you unloop this. And we repeat the same step. You get your green again. You unloop the three, and then you close. And then you pick up that green from underneath. Oh wait, I added the wrong color. <laughs> Sorry, it's supposed to be brown. Don't worry, it's the same step. It's just a color. It's supposed to be brown. Remove yourself. Okay. So this is supposed to be brown. Sorry. Like that. Then you close it. Okay, then you will get this green again, put it up, then you get your geese is where you get the green, this is where you get your green, and loop all three, and reclaim the two browns again, close, and fold, see, so we add a brown again, I will try to make this long enough for you to see the steps, but not too long, it's going to be boring. Okay, let's do that here. Okay, there you go. So you unloop the three. It's okay. And then you close. And then you pick up the green. And then you get the green again. Unloop the three. Pick up the two. And then close. And then fold. And get another brown. Unloop the three. Ok. 
close. Pick up that green. Get another green. Unloop the three. Pick up the two. And then close. And fold. Ta ta! See? Now you can see the pattern of how it looks in front. Isn't that cool? It's so very cool. I think it's very nice. Okay, there's the other side. Okay, so just add maybe three more, and then we can already work on the borders. Okay, why well, is this a bit loose? Anyway, it's a bit loose, but anyway, here we go. So you get your brown and loop close. Pick up the green, get your green, and loop all three bands. Then pick up the two brands again, and then close, and then you undo. And then you get another brown, and loop, close. And then you pick up the green, get another green, and loop all three. Pick up the two, close, and fold. Ta-ta! Okay. So I guess that's long enough. Kind of gives a very good idea how it's going to look. So when you get to the end, all you need to do is you just get a single band and hook all three. Let me just fix this. It's twisting a galore. I got the word galore from Razzle Dazzle. <laughs> I saw it in one of the posts. It's like, I think he said something like beauty galore. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, let me get a secret. My, my pool of C clips. So, it's, you get this slightly bigger one. See, that's all the C clip. A lot. That can be a good ice ice baby stuff. So, you put those two on a C clip. And you're ready to start your border. Okay, we shall go to the border now. Okay, so what you do is you go into the first link, the first brown. You see these browns? Okay, this is the front of your bracelet, and the concept is for you to work around the brown ones. Wait, why are you there? There, okay supposed to be like that the green is supposed to be outside sorry let me just fix it there you go okay so anyway we are supposed to work under this very first link behind after the cap band so after the cap band you go inside here okay and then you get your first inside color which is for me white and then it's purple and then it's white so it's white purple white okay so it's white and then you unloop the two and then you close okay let me just double check to make sure that i am doing the right steps okay then you will get your next color which is the purple second color You unloop this, not unloop, but you kind of you switch it over. You just put, put place the purple there, and then you switch it over. And then you will fold the purple, and then you close. Okay. And then you get another white, which go we go back to the white, and you unloop all three, and then you close. It's that simple. So now you will go behind. You know this like inverted six or like the six that's upside down. Anyway, not upside down, but the other way around. What you will see here is you will see behind this curled band, you will see the two browns that we worked with. So those are the links we will go in. So for here, whatever bands you used for this, that's where you're going. So you go under the two bands, one, and then two, okay? And you will place a single 
inner border corner. So that's your inner border corner. And then you close it. It's always the white, purple, and then white. So white first, and then next is the purple. And you will unloop three only, just these three. And then reclaim the two closest to the hook. Okay. Two closest to the hook. And then you will fold out. Fold. And close. So you have four again. Then you go back to your white and unloop all four. Like I said, white, purple, white. First color, second color, third color, second color, first color. <laughs> okay, that's confusing. <laughs> anyway, then you place them all in a single band. See? Then you go back again and behind these two browns again. So you go behind these two. Like that. Okay. And then you get a white. And unloop the two only. And then you close. And then you go back to your purple. So you get your purple. Unloop these three. Pick up the two closest to the hook. Fold. And then close. Okay. And then you get another white. And a loop all four. Ta -da! Then you go again to the behinds. <laughs> to the behinds. Behind these two. And you get your white again. White, purple, white. Loop those two only. That was it. And now you get your purple. Why is this so twisted? Okay. Purple. Unloop the three. Pick up the two closest to the hook. Fold. And close. And then you get your white again. And then loop all four. And then you go behind the brown again. And you get your white. <coughs> Excuse me. White. And loop the two. Close. And then you get the purple. And loop the three. Pick up the two closest to the hook. Fold. Close. And then you get the single white again. And then loop all four. And then close. Okay. Can you go to this? I'll show you until the end so that you know what to do. <coughs> and then we are going to get the white again. And loop. Close. <coughs> Excuse me. Then you get your purple again. And loop the three. Pick up the two. Fold. And then you close. And then you get a white. And loop the four. Okay, and then you get this, two more, two more, and then you get the white, so I won't talk anymore because I think you can get it. Well, you know me, I can't stop talking. <laughs> 
I just pretended that I'm not going to talk, but I actually keep talking. That's what my mom really went crazy about me. She's like, oh my god, you're so talkative. <laughs> so anyway, we'll go into the last one right before the C-clip. See? And then you get your white again. Then the purple. And your last white. So now you're at the end. And all you have to do is to slip knot. So what you need to do is to just get this over and then pull this one into the C clip. C clip. C clip. <laughs> C clip. <laughs> the hell. There. See? It's done. It's done the lion. Okay. Then when you go to the other side, this is the side you worked on, right? You just do it the opposite way. You just turn it around. Then you will just go in here again. The first thing. Get your white. Loot that. Then single back. Then you get your purple. You cross this over. Fold it. And close. And then you get a single band again. Wait, let me change that. That was thin. There. And then you close. Then you can go into the next back band right there. Okay. See? Then you get your white again, same as the one we were doing earlier. It's not complicated at all, and I know you're always gonna get it. Guys, you're gonna get it. It's very easy. And then it's the purple. Reclaim the two whites. Then you fold and close. And then you get the white. You unleave, unleave, and then close. Then you just keep going until the next. Right there, those two. Work. It's tighter so it's a bit harder. There you go. Get the white. And loop. Get your purple. And loop the three. Pick up the two. And loop. Fold rather and then close. And then you get your white. So there it is. It's actually super simple. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. So all you have to do is you just keep going up. Okay? Keep going up all the way here. And then you just slip knot and close again here. Same as this. Okay? So I am sure you guys already get it. There's no point making it longer. So this is the super beautiful Habanera bracelet by Lumania0304. And when you make the bracelet, please don't forget to hashtag Jace Alvarez. Habanera bracelet and Lumania 0304 because she loved to see your renditions of this gorgeous bracelet. Okay, so I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye!